Science 6, Quarter 2, Week 3, Milk Base. Let's learn about Parts and Function of Excretory System and Nervous System. Lesson 2 Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Science 6, we will discuss about parts and function of excretory system and nervous system. This is lesson 2 of week 3. For most essential learning competencies, explain how the different organ systems work together. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the function of the excretory system and identify its parts. Let's study about excretory system. Excretory system is the organ system that is responsible for eliminating waste from the body. Removal of these waste from the body is necessary because they become poisonous when they remain in the body for long. The excretory system works with other systems and organs in the body. The lungs is the respiratory system eliminate water vapor and carbon dioxide through exhalation. The digestive system removes feces by defecation from the large intestine and out through the anus. During perspiration, the skin, a part of the integumentary system, excretes sweat from the sweat glands. The urinary system is a part of the excretory system that collects and eliminates liquid waste. It consists of the left and right kidneys, the ureters, the urinary bladder, and the urethra. Kidneys Kidneys are bean-shaped organs that are approximately 10 cm long and 5 cm wide each. They are found near your backbone, one on each side. They are the main excretory organs in the body. They eliminate water, urea, and other waste products in the form of urine, a liquid waste that passes from your body. It is 95% water, in which the waste products are dissolved. The kidneys should function properly to maintain a healthy life. Blood carries waste products from the different parts of the body to the kidneys through the renal arteries, the blood vessels leading to the kidneys. Inside the kidneys, the blood passes through filtering units called nephrons, where impurities such as urea, salts, and other toxins are filtered out. Other substances such as water, glucose, and other nutrients are returned to the bloodstream through the renal veins, the blood vessels that carry blood from the kidneys. The next one is the ureters. Ureters are the tubes that are approximately 45 cm long each. They carry urine from the kidneys to the urinary bladder, a pear-shaped muscular sac located in the pelvis where urine is temporarily stored before elimination from the body. It can hold more than 2 cups or 473 milliliter of liquid. Urine flows to the urethra, a duct that is approximately 20 cm long in males and 5 cm long in females. A ring-shaped muscle around the urethra controls the flow of urine out of the body through contraction. And now let us study about the nervous system. Do you ever wonder how you could walk on a beam without losing your balance? Why is it that when you touch something hot, you pull your hand away even before you even think about it? 
You will find the answers to these questions as you read this lesson. Living things have systems that control, regulate, and coordinate body processes. In this lesson, you will explore how the nervous system controls, regulates, and coordinates most of your body functions. The Nervous System and Its Function The nervous system is the control unit of the body. Its function is to integrate and coordinate bodily activities. It coordinates the activities and communicates with the sense organs and the other body systems through the wire like nerve cells or neurons that transmits messages passing through spinal cord to the brain and back to the nerve cells or neurons for the interpretation of the senses. The brain is an amazing organ that performs different functions such as processing memory, judgment, and reasoning. It controls body movement, emotions, feelings, and vital sign of life such as breathing. The brain has three main parts. These are Cerebrum Cerebellum Brainstem or the medulla oblongata Another organ in the nervous system is the spinal cord. It is a cord-like material inside the backbone. It bridges impulse between the brain and the body. This means that all the signals that go to and from the brain pass through the spinal cord and deliver it to the right muscles and senses. Neuron is also another organ in the nervous system. It is a wire-like organ that is found all over the body. Its main function is to deliver messages with the nervous system and between other body system. It is divided into three parts. The axon, cell body, and then right. Neurons can be classified based on the direction in which they send information. This can be sensory neurons, motor neuron, and interneuron. And now let's proceed to learning task 1. Identify what is being described. Choose the best answer. Number 1. A muscular sac where urine is temporarily stored. A. Ureter B. Kidneys C. Urethra and D. Urinary bladder What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter D. Urinary bladder Number 2. The filtering unit of the kidney A. Ureter B. Urethra C. Bladder D. Nephrons What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter D. Nephrons Number 3 The procedure by which the blood undergoes artificial filtering to remove waste A. Defecation B. Exhalation C. Hemodialysis D. Urethra What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Hemodialysis Number 4. The organ through which urine leaves your body A. Anus B. Skin C. Kidney D. Urethra What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter D, urethra. Number 5. The process by which waste generally leave your body. A. Digestion B. Excretion C. Respiration D. Perspiration What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B, excretion. Learning Task 2 Determine if each sentence is correct or incorrect. Write C on the line if it is correct. If it is incorrect 
and circle the words that makes incorrect and write the correct words on the line. Number 1. The cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. Is it correct or incorrect? Very good! The answer is C. Correct. Number 2. The brain is the control center of the nervous system. Is it correct or incorrect? Very good! The answer is C. Correct. Number 3. The brain is made up of the cerebrum, cerebellum, and spinal column. Is it correct or incorrect? Very good! The answer is incorrect because the mistake word is the spinal column. It should be brain stem. Number 4. The nervous system consists of the heart, brain, and spinal column. Is it correct or incorrect? Very good! The answer is incorrect because the mistake is the word heart. It should be nerve cells. And number 5. The nerves interpret the meaning of what is perceived by the sense organ. Is it correct or incorrect? Very good! The answer is C. Correct. Let's proceed to learning task 3. Answer the questions by writing true or false. If it is false, replace the underlined word with the correct word to make the statement correct. Number 1. The nervous system is the control system of the body. The underlined word is the nervous system. What is the correct answer? Is it true or false? Very good! The answer is true. Number 2. The nerve cells is the basic unit of the nervous system. Is it true or false? Very good! The answer is true. Number 3. The brain is found all over your body. Is it true or false? Very good! The answer is false because the underlined word which is brain is wrong. It should be nerves. Number 4. The brain has three main parts, cerebrum, cerebellum, and the medulla oblongata. Is it true or false? Very good! The correct answer is true. For learning task 4, number the sentence from 1 to 5 to show the direction of the information to reach the desired response to the given stimulus. Write the numbers on the lines. The first direction is in number 2. The receptors or eyes receive information from the environment. The second direction is in number 1. The sensory nerves send the impulse to the brain through the spinal cord. The third direction is in number 4. The brain interprets the impulse. The fourth direction is in number 3. The motor nerves carry the impulse the effectors. And the fifth direction is in number 5. The message goes back to the spinal cord to the motor nerves. Remember, excretory system. Excretory system is the organ system that is responsible for eliminating waste from the body. Removal of this waste from the body is necessary because they become poisonous when they remain in the body for long. The nervous system is the control unit of the body. Its function is to integrate and coordinate bodily activities. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!